everybody, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're here. Today is a Project You Sit Up update. It's my spring 2023 um, update from March. Last time I filmed this, it was when spring started, which was like March 21st or something like that. And today's the update. I'm sorry, this is like kind of late. I wish I would have gotten up like a week ago, but if you haven't seen my last video, I moved. So I've been doing that and that's been kind of consuming my life right now. Um, you don't realize how much bath and water stuff you have until you have to move it all. I was going to film a lot of collection videos for you guys this summer, but it's going to have to be late summer because my whole collection isn't here yet. I couldn't bring it all um, with all the other stuff I had to move with me. So I, I have most of it here, but things I wasn't going to use anytime soon is still back at home. So yeah, which saddens me, but it's like, I don't need it right this second. But yeah, um, I'm excited to film this update. In a month from now, you'll probably see the summer update or the summer project, but this is an update to the spring project. And in the summer one, I'll usually do like a finishing of the spring, you know, wrap that up and then new products then. So some of these things are new, but some of these things you've seen last time. So I will link my project from last month in March or two months ago down below. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. I have my handy dandy book to tell you guys where I was at with some of this stuff. I feel like there's a lot going on right now. The things I'm gonna talk about first are things that I have not used at all. So, wrapped in sugar. I was at basically the same place I'm at right now. I maybe used it once, but I'm pretty much at the same spot. I'm gonna retire this. I wanted to use it, but it's such a so um sweet wintry vanilla that I just can't use it. I just can't like it's gonna have to sit around still even with this consistency um i love the scent it's too much of a winter scent to me so i'm retiring this and not using it anymore and i haven't used it in a few months so she's not in the project anymore another one is raspberry jam donut i said i wasn't going to use this scent at all including its pair of lotion and i didn't i actually yeah i didn't use it at all so i'm retiring it out of the project because i haven't touched it since march I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I love the scent, but we are retiring it. Next is Confetti Cake Pop. I think I used it maybe once, but I haven't used this really at all. Um, I love the scent, but it's such a hard, harsh cake batter scent and it's so good, but it just reminds me of winter and I'm into the florals and fruits right now. So I'm not wearing this anymore, but such a good scent, love it. And yeah, it was great when I was using it, but I just have to take it a break. If you haven't already checked out my empties, I will link it down below, but I finished a A Thousand Wishes body cream, and so when I was using that body cream, I didn't really have a good shower gel to go with it besides raspberry sugar. So when I first, up, last update, you guys, I was like right here, um, so like right about here, and I've used quite a bit because I just didn't know what to use with that, and this kind of matched the vibe, so I used that quite a bit, actually, and I'm really proud. I'm not going to use it anymore just because it's such a, it's just a winter scent, like, the plum in it makes me think of Sugar Plum Swirl. Um, that's why the longest time I had Sugar Plum Swirl a year ago. And I was like, that smells so similar to raspberry sugar. Like there's such like the same scent. But I was like, it's a plum scent and a raspberry scent. How is that true? But then I read the scent notes and this has sugar raspberries, plum blossom, and winter winter white lily. And I was like, the plum in this so reminds me of Sugar Plum Swirl. So taking a break from it. And yeah. So I liked it though while I was using it, obviously. I used a lot of it. All right, that is all the scents that I am kind of like done with. And now we're gonna talk about updates. So let's get into it. The scent I started new back in March and I really didn't touch the scent till April because I was finishing a body cream and another shower gel. So I used a sugar hot lemonade finally. So when I last updated you guys, this was full. So obviously it was at the top and now it's here. So I love this scent. It is such a like spring cotton lemonade scent. Love, love, love it. Um, I wish that white t-shirt was something like this or, you know, the laundry collection that they brought, bring out. I wish it was like this. But yeah, this is for sheer cotton and lemonade. And then in the shower gel, I used probably much about the same. Um, like, it started full, obviously, and now we're here. So continuing to use this for the next month. It is my spring scent. So yeah. The other shower gel that I started brand new was Violet the Sky. I think when I update you guys or that last video is completely full and now it's like right here. So I only use this when I really want to use it because I love this scent and I cherish it and I just only use it when I'm like really in the mood. Um, it is such a good violet scent, violet lily. Um, and yeah, so I only use that when I'm like 
not like feeling myself because I'm like, if I feel my, like, if I'm, if I'm like feeling all bougie, I use Pure Wonder, but if I'm not, and I just like want to pick me up kind of like a little pick me up, I use Sky. Um, and then for the lotion I've been pairing with Sky is Bally Black Coconut Sands. I don't really know when the update was, so I'm going to look at that right now. Okay. So apparently I'm going to have to look at this in my video, but apparently it was like right, it was like right here. And I've used that much, which I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, that just seems like a lot. So I'm gonna have to look at my video, but you know, I use a decent amount. I'm going to go based on the back where it says body lotion right here. And then from now on, we'll go through the back. But, um, yeah, so I really like this scent. It is, I've noticed the, the coconut milk is the first scent in this. And I've noticed that that smell is, you could tell it's a coconut milk scent. So I'm not really a big fan of wearing this during the day. I mostly wear it at nighttime because that scent is just like, I don't know. I don't really like smelling milk. Um, <laughs> I say milk, sorry, but I don't really like smelling like milk. Um, you know, in the daytime, I feel like that's like only a nighttime scent. So if I do use Bali Black Coconut Sands, it's at nighttime. But yeah, I'm proud of myself that I used a decent amount. So I'm gonna have to look back. But that's where I'm at right now with it. And I think that's it besides what I've finished. And there's a few sprays I've left out and I'm gonna talk about a few sprays. But first I'm gonna talk about the new shower gel that I put in and I haven't used yet is Rose. So I don't really love Rose. I got this for free from someone and you know, it's okay. It's not my favorite, favorite scent, but I don't give scents away. And I almost gave this away like twice, but I have it in my collection. I'm just gonna use it and turn, you know, maybe I'll love it, you know? I have rose quartz in the shower as my bulb bath right now, and that's similar to this, obviously. So I'm just gonna try to use her. She's very spring-like, so I'm like, you know, maybe try to use her. I'm only gonna focus on the other two shower gels that I'm using, and I like when I have a low variety of products. Like, of course, in the winter, I have a lot of products I was using, and I love that, but, you know, it's fun to have, like, only two, because you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna finish this, you know? But I want I just drew her into my shower recently and hopefully I'll wait for her soon. And the lotion I'm going to be using with that is Poppy. I have a full set in Poppy, the shower gel lotion and the full size Prime Princess. And now I have this. I'm kind of trying to use this up to, you know, get myself used to Poppy. So maybe I'll use it next spring or just like, I don't know, like whenever I get a body cream, I usually like try to use the body creams up really, really quickly. And I don't like, like just ha having them hang out in my collection. So yeah, I'm going to try to use Poppy up. It's a really good scent. Um, it's, you know, it's a pear scent. Um, my boyfriend's not personally like this scent. He's like, I actually like Poppy a lot. And I was like, yeah, me too. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to use this up with Rose. I know it's not the same Poppy and Rose, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to use it with Rose. Okay, the next things are sprays. So the ones, the sprays I didn't bring out here are Japanese Cherry Blossom, A Thousand Wishes, Lovely Dreamer, like my full size sprays and Pure Wonder because I'm not aiming to get those done. Whereas these ones, I'm like, if these are done, these are kind of in the project kind of thing. Um, the first one being Be Joyful. I'm almost like, almost here. Like I'm almost there. You can, you can barely, okay, you can kind of see like I'm, I'm getting close. Um, I just picked up this in a full size at the thrift store the other day. If you haven't already seen, um, I posted on my Admore's Instagram story. So check out my Instagram, Bath Buddy Love. I post hauls, empties, collections, you name it. It's all on there. Um, I always post on there. I've been kind of lagging lately. So I'll take some pictures and post them there. But go ahead and give that a follow. But yeah, I found Be Joyful full size at the thrift store. So of course I had to get it. So now I don't really care if I get this one done. You know what I mean? So now it's like officially in the project because the past few videos I've been saying like, this isn't really in the project. So now it is because I have a full new one. It's a mini still, but whatever. Um, but yeah, be joyful. It's a fruity scent in here. So now I'm okay if I get this done. Next is Bally Blue Surf. So I have Bally Blue Coconut Sands and Bally Blue Surf. This one, I have to look at the update from when this was last. I wrote below Bally, but not fully. So I'm like consuming that it's right here and now it's right here. So I've used a decent amount. And like I said, I would love to get this done. It is a sunscreen tropical spring scent to me um i use this one in the spring and then oahu coconut sunset same exact packaging in the summer so you'll see that one next month and i will be retiring this from um the uh, project next month because this is more of a spring light scent it could definitely be in the f summer too but i use that one in the summer so um really enjoy the scent i use this a lot because it is such a it matches my moisturizer because my moisturizer is like a sunscreen and the vibe for that matches so yeah i've been using this a lot especially like you know when i'm going out in the daytime got my moisturizer on i got my sunscreen on it matches the vibe and then next I think I haven't used a lot of this and then I did use a lot of it. I did not put this in an update, but I'm pretty sure I was like right here and now I'm here 
And I've noticed why this is so potent is because it sprays so much. I love this scent. If I get this done, I won't care because I have two full sizes of this. Um, so yeah, I've been just using this when I'm like, when I really want to stand out, I'll, I'll spray this. So that is for my sprays. And like I said, I'm not, I didn't insert the full size sprays because I'm not going to get those done anytime soon. So they're not really in the project. All right, next two things are soaps. So I officially finished one of my spring soaps. So that will be in my next empties. I'm not going to say what it is because you just have to stay tuned and see. But I added two new soaps to, you know, the kitchen and the bathroom. So the kitchen I added boardwalk vanilla cone um i love this packaging and i love this scent obviously it's close to being done i don't know these soaps take you know but take time i don't constantly wash my hands i feel like some people on youtube like wash their hands non-stop because they have so many empties of soaps i don't know i wash my hands guys i'm not like gross or anything but this will be in the kitchen so it depends um but yeah boardwalk vanilla cone love 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 this scent and then i put pure wonder in my bathroom I love this set too. This is more my bougie scent. Like I said, I only use Pure Wonder when I'm feeling myself. I don't know. I don't like the love saying feeling myself. I like when I say like more like going out, you know, wanting to look nice. My birthday, for my 21st birthday, I use Pure Wonder and now it just makes me think of like a special occasion vibes. So that's what, that's what it is. But I just put this in there because I have the soap and I love this scent. So yeah, I like this better in the bathroom only because... When you're in the kitchen, you mostly smell food. That's why I put that one in there. So yeah. Um, okay, so that was soaps. And then, sorry. The other things that I'm kind of like in the project, I don't know. I got some hand sanitizers. I don't really talk about these. I think in my last update, I didn't talk about these at all. Um, but I have Frosted Coconut Snowball. So close to being done. I really want to get this done. This is on my purse. And Frosted Coconut Snowball is such a such a catfish, I feel like. It's, it's a coconut scent but it's in winter packaging, but it's such a coconut scent. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments from that one. And then uh, I have watermelon lemonade in the bathroom because this one has leaked. And usually when I have had a pocket bag leaked, I usually leave it in my room, leave it in the bathroom, leave it somewhere standing up because I'm just like, I don't want this to leak. So that one I'd like to get done because it leaked before. And same with vanilla bean well, same reason it's leaked before. So that one I'm more focusing on because it's a winter scent, you know, like I like watermelon lemonade and it's not summer, summer yet. So I'm going to maybe use that more then. So I'm trying to get this one done next. All right, moving on. Something else, Zap Bath and Butter Works. And then we have two more things that are, and then this video is done. This is 15 minutes. I can't believe I have talked that long, but I have this Dragon's Natural Glow um, Daily Moisture. I'm going to try to use this one up because I bought a new one. So this is for my legs and yeah get a little tan this summer. Who knows? We don't know. I'm a working girl now, so don't know if I'll actually get out and tan, but you never know. I could. So yeah, Jergens Natural Glow. Try to use that up because I have another one that I just bought. Oh, something I didn't talk about. I lied. There's three more products. Sharpie Pound Cake. I didn't include any minis in here because I go through them super quickly, but this one I haven't really used and I want to get this done. I have a full size in the bathroom that I use after I shave my legs and I don't know. I love Sharpie Pound Cake and everything except the lotion. The lotion, it's just not my thing. So hopefully I get that done soon. But yeah. Um, next thing I have is a Dream Big hand cream. I have a few other hand creams I'm using, but I specifically picked this one out because it's summery and spring-like. The other two are, I don't know. See, I feel like I need to include every single scent and then I don't, but whatever. I'm trying to use this up. I put this in the bathroom because I feel like the foaming soaps really dry out my hands. So I think I'm going to start buying both foaming and gentle gel or is it gentle gel? Just a gel soap, like the gel and the foaming. I'm going to try to get both because my hands get really dried out from the foaming. So yeah. Um, and I use this if my hands are super, super dry. Okay, last thing is this super old body butter from 2017. It is the Amber Argan Body Butter. It's, I, that shows, if you know this collection, then you're an OG, I guess, because I've had this from since 2017. I had this in a moisturizing body wash back then, and it smells so good. I love this scent, but shield. It is, you can't even tell, like, that bad. But I need to get this done. I love this scent so much. Um, that's my goal. One of my big goals this year is to get this done because I've just had it for so long. Like, oh, it's technically from 2018. Okay. So like I said in my last video, I feel like I always mix up 18 and 17 and 19. And then my last video, I was like, oh my God, I'm sure, sure it's 2019. No, it was 2018. I went back on my Instagram and I was like, I was wrong, whatever. But yeah, I want to get this done. It is such a good scent. I'll be sad when it's done, 
but I, I can't have it that long. Like it's, it's getting old. Um, and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I sorry this video was so long, but I will update you guys in a month. There will be a bunch of new products next month. I'm super excited because some of these, like I said, I retired a bunch in the beginning of this video and then I have updates and a lot of these scents like will only spring scents to me. So I'm going to have so much newsness in summer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not already hit subscribe because it is summer. Summer SAS is coming up. Collections are going to be coming soon. So yeah, if you subscribe, that'd be amazing. And I love when you guys comment because I love to comment back and love to have conversations about Bath and Works. And yeah, like this video in if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye!